Hey guys, we're back, and uh, there was a little footage. If you want to uh, check out that Art of Bay Bloody Harvest 5 over at SorgatronMedia.com slash store, you can pick it up for digital download and DVD as usual. Um, and, of course, music by our friend at BasicSickness.com. You can go check out all that stuff there. Uh, good good friend of the show here in Pittsburgh. Uh, so I, I, this week... I, I caught the wrap up here. You guys talking about Bound for Glory, uh, and whether you think it or not, in the past we know Bound for Glory has, in pay per views in general, big ones for TNA have seemed to have dropped the ball at closing things, at, at uh, uh, not creating so much WrestleMania moments for TNA. So I, I, I thought we'd go back and look at when WrestleMania failed to create a WrestleMania moment for you. So, so uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that in this week's. Remember when? This is the part where help is supposed to sing, but it's not here. So we fill in time for the people that are listening to us in audio. Wow, that, that is horrible. I'm not even go back through the, all the rest of that. That was ridiculous. Um, so with that, <laughs> but no, uh, we you know, we're sort of like, what? What have you? It's the biggest show of the year. And then uh, they 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 drop the ball. You know, we talk about closure. WrestleMania should have something that's a moment that ends uh, some feud, something you remember it. But whenever they drop the ball, I, 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 more recently I can remember. Uh, I was a little put off by the fact that Miz and John Cena, which had such great build and and everything, and had the involvement. Okay, yes, with The Rock, but I hated that we had a WrestleMania match in this decade that ended first with a was it a double dq a count out i think double they, count out double count, double count out because they like they smashed through the barricade i believe um, well yeah and miz got a legit concussion too i think okay. that had something to do with okay it. okay and that might be too uh but but still it still led to a weird moment right uh rock comes out restarts the match and then of course screws over john cena um really left a bad taste in my mouth for that year uh, of course, it did lead to uh, two of, you know, arguably some of the greatest matches uh, with Rock and Cena the next two years after. And the biggest... Uh, the, keyword, uh, arguably. Uh, yeah, that's why I said that. That's why I said it. But if not, the, I know. at least on paper, the biggest matches in build and uh, 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 in everything. Um, but uh, what do you think, Eamon? What, what would be one of yours uh, kind of uh, drop the ball moments, uh, anti-WrestleMania mem- 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 memory? The closest one I could think of is actually not far off from that one. Uh, it was WrestleMania 25, uh, and it was the main event for that show, which was Triple H versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. And it's not solely because of the people in the match. Uh, for those that remember that feud, it involved <laughs> stuff like home invasions and Randy Orton making out with an unconscious Stephanie McMahon as uh, Triple H was handcuffed to a ring post. Hmm. And a lot of violence. And right before the show, they instituted a rule where if Triple H got himself counted out or disqualified, he would lose the WWE championship. So he made sure he didn't get counted out or disqualified. Not to mention, which that match started off with Triple H hitting a pedigree and Randy Orton hitting an RKO within the first three minutes of the match. Wow. True that, but also just the idea that the everything that this feud was built upon, and then Triple H would just be like, "I care more about keeping my championship yeah. than avenging all the other stuff." Yeah, it really defeated anything that they were going to do with that storyline, mm-hmm. and I do not understand why they did it whatsoever. It still kind of baffles me. <laughs> so Rance. Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. Damn it. Why start? Damn it. Why start anywhere else? This is true. That was supposed to be the biggest match of WrestleMania 20. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be big guy versus big guy. It was supposed to be one of the better matches that ever in, in the WWE. And, of course... Everybody knows what happened. Uh, first, I think Goldberg just wanted to leave. Mm-hmm. And then Brock Lesnar decided, hey, 
I'm going to go try for the NFL. And failed. <laughs> and then he went to the UFC, and now he's back in WWE. From time so, on. So, yeah. The, the, the fact is, you can't say any other match in WrestleMania history came down so hard than WrestleMania 20, Goldberg, and Lesnar. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. What about you, Mad Mike? Of Since course you go to me after Riz one's taken. stole mine. Uh-huh. Bam. <sighs> Fuck you, Riz. Um, okay, you know what? Um, in keeping with the Triple H theme, uh, Triple H Booker T. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Triple kinda H Booker T. Kind of wish that was better. Like, it's fine if you squash Scott Steiner at a Royal Rumble. That's fine. It's the Rumble. No one expects the title to change chance or anyway. Yeah. But WrestleMania is where you're supposed to have a good guy triumph over evil. Instead, Booker T was just racially slandered, called a criminal, and he was never heard from again until he won the King of the Ring. King like, Booker. Three years later. Yeah, King Booker. So, yeah, that really, like, what were we supposed to learn from that one? That, that, that black people suck? I don't know. I don't know what Triple H was trying to teach us with that. What about you, Bobby? Uh, mine would be from WrestleMania 27, Dan O'Brien versus Sheamus, the 18 seconds match. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean it, it created... It, <laughs> sorry, AJ. It created the Dan O'Brien we know and love today. But it, it just wasn't – for all the build that that match did have, like Daniel Bryan's like first shot and stuff, it's just – I don't know. But see, I think that's perfect though. Mm-hmm. I mean I know what it did, but the match itself was kind of a letdown. And at, at the time, I mean remember we were like going into that and, and there was a backlash. Mm-hmm. Like pe- weren't people chanting no at the rest of the – or Bryan at the rest of the show? Well, yeah, yeah. but – if they didn't do that, if Sheamus and Brian just had like a ten man match mm-hmm. and and Brian lost, Daniel Bryan would not be a main eventer right now. So well, yeah, but I'm saying for that match at that time, it was a letdown. Yeah, it was. It was I'm not I don't saying think it, it didn't help any... Daniel Bryan in the long run, mm-hmm. but it was a letdown at the time. I don't think they expected it to happen. Mm-hmm. I don't think they expected that blow up to happen. So, yeah, and we have, I believe we have AJ online. Are you there? Bo Diggity is here, children. Uh, Yay. Tell us, <laughs> he's, he's, he's mobile, so uh, yeah, this will be interesting. Uh, I, no, 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 no. I would put on video, but it's very dark because I'm in my car right now, which is where I spend a good portion of my life. I've driven 381 miles a day. I'm going video list for this because I'm doing this for the audio listeners. I'm here for you, audio listeners. <laughs> Nobody can see me. We, no one. We did play both of your voicemails earlier. One by accident. Good. One by accident. Good. Was it the Was it the one where I said just swear words? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. I thought I was. I was. I was. Uh, we were listening. In the, I was going to skip that one, but they're they're. AJ, glad. I insisted we listen to it. So we're going to skip it. He did. Listen, I was in a fun state of mind when I when I called, and I just felt like being playful, and we went with it. <laughs> Getting right. to our remember when, I guess I, I missed the part where, where, where I, I don't remember what we're remembering, but I'm going with shit salad matches. Is that what we're going with here? Yeah, worst WrestleMania. Worst, worst WrestleMania moments. Yeah. Worst WrestleMania moments. I'm going to go with JR to Toga at WrestleMania 9. <laughs> wow. We said moments, not matches. So <laughs> That's true. JR and Toga. First, first job at the game. And that wonderful gentleman from Oklahoma had to put on a fucking bed sheet. That's not, that's not nice. But AJ, that had to be comfortable. That happened to everybody there. No, also, what no. The- they were outside in Vegas heat. That had to be really comfortable as opposed oh, yeah. to wearing a tight suit. Listen, I got to be really honest. Jim Ross has never been a slender gentleman. He was probably a sweaty mess and was hoping the suit would catch him. He's <laughs> from Oklahoma. 
kids. Yeah, but it was, it was no, it was no worse than my runner-up. That I, if somebody would have taken mine, uh, Big Show versus Aki Bono. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so oh, twenty-one diaper time, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I also, yeah. I would also uh, like to point out. Uh, let's see here. Same WrestleMania, Giant Gonzalez versus Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just throw in everything. Uh, Mexican guy in a body suit. I can get classic match to me. WrestleMania, you know, WrestleMania Nine holds a special place in my heart. Um, but you're right. You're right. It holds a special place in mine too. So you're right. I that mean, was, sorry, that was the sorry, first sorry, WrestleMania weird, weird finish. Uh, weird Giant Gonzalez finish. Uh, weird title match finish. Uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. You mentioned about how there was. You mentioned about how there was like a double count out uh, in the one match you mentioned from 27. That show had like three count outs. <laughs> in WrestleMania? Or like three like fucked up finishes. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Wait, were you talking about nine or 27? Nine. nine. Yeah, it did. It did. Which is really rare for that, that age, you know, that time, you know, that they would do that. So, eh, eh. Well, it was still a good WrestleMania. It had the best announcing team in the world. JR, Randy Savage, and Bobby Heenan. I That's defy true. you to come up with a better three man team. You're right. It had the best announce team. It just had shit for everything else. <laughs> I don't care. It's still amazing. Oh, man. Better than WrestleMania 11. What? Better than WrestleMania 11. Was that the, uh, the that was Bam Bam. guy on Bam Bam Bigelow? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so with the, hey, let us know what's your worst WrestleMania moment or whatever other moment, uh, uh, horrible payoff moment uh, at Mayhem Show on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Google Plus, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, hey, you know we got T-shirts. We got yeah, T-shirts. We do. You got stacks and stacks. You buy our merchandise and put it around and on your body. Maybe cover your penis with it if you're naked. Hey, like hey, 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 yeah. Tell them about the T-shirts. All right, so we got some T-shirts. We got the good times at WrestleMayhemShow.com.